So this week we will discuss multi-arm bandit problem. Multi-arm bandit problem is um, important problem setting to understand exploration versus exploitation trade-off, which is um, key component for designing um, decision-making algorithm or reinforcement learning algorithm. This talk consists of three parts. I will first introduce what is uh, multi-arm bandit problem. And then I will introduce Bernoulli bandit setting where each outcome, each re return is basically Bernoulli distribution, either zero or one with hidden parameters. And the learner should learn the hidden parameters to uh, make a best policy. And the Bernoulli bandy setting, since the setting is very simple, the reward is just Bernoulli distribution, either 0 or 1. Um, there are many theories. It is very well known, all the results, easy to understand. And from the understanding, we can design very nice algorithm for more general scenario. That is why many uh, theory guys start from Bernoulli bandy setting. And then uh, we will discuss adversary bandit setting where the reward distribution is more general, even the reward is not independent and in some case um, some adversary player uh, come in and um, make, decide the reward based on the previous history. That is possible. So adversary attack can, can be possible. Uh, for the adversary bandit setting, we will use online mirror descent approach. That is um, one of the topic of the last week contents. And very interesting, I think. The, from the online mirror descent, we can uh, analyze the reward, uh, regret, and reward, expected reward returns. And also uh, from the different regularizer, pi function, we will see some different properties. Okay. The, um, the multi-hand bandit name comes from the uh, slot machine examples. So let, let, let's imagine we go to Las Vegas after pandemic, this situation. Uh, when you go to some hotels in Las Vegas, there are a bunch of slot machines. And usually each slot machine in a casino has different uh, hidden parameter setting. The expected return is, is different across the different slot machines. So for this case, I think the winning strategy is uh, find, uh, finding the best slot machine that gives us the highest return on, on average. And then play the best slot machine all the time. That will be the, uh, I think, the best strategy for the slot machine case. But the problem is, oh, hidden setting, the player don't know. We don't know what is the expected return for one single slot machine or all the uh, slot machines. So we have to uh, guess hidden um, parameters from the place, a uh, place several times and observe the returns, and then estimate the hidden parameter, expected the return of each slot machine. But when you spend too much time to learn the hidden parameters, then you already lose every year um, gambling budget, so there is no more chance to play. So that is ab absolutely uh, crappy strategy, very bad strategy for the slot machine case. So, Maybe some other strategy, just choose few of slot machine and play them all the time and just play the uh, empirically good uh, slot machine all the time. After sudden, after just a few observations, that is possible because we save um, many exploration phase because we limit the, we limit the number of plays for each uh, slot machines for the exploration purpose. 
uh, maybe we can uh, obtain better um, returns compared to the just a pure exploration settings. But the problem is, uh, in that case, there is always some chance uh, we find wrong best machine. Because uh, every return is kind of random, um, if we unlucky, there is always chance uh, we, uh, the first few iterations, for the first few iterations, uh, very bad slot machine give us very nice returns. So we believe very bad slot machine is really good slot machine. So we play the very bad slot machine all the time for the remaining time. It, it is possible for the uh, this uh, last bell setting. So multi banded algorithm want to escape such scenario. We don't want to purely explore uh, raw rate all the time that totally waste your uh, gambling budget. We also don't want to play um, bad slam machine all the time because of the first few beginners luck of um, very bad slam machine. Okay? So we will see such algorithm that can escape from such bad behavior. Another interesting example is selecting a restaurant problem. So consider there are two restaurants. One is for a usual place like a canteen. And the other uh, restaurant is grant opening brand new restaurant nearby us. Okay. Uh, since we go to this usual place several times, even 100, um, we know the, the quality of food and we know price uh, so expect is some satisfaction for this place. We know every menu, every details very well. So we know some expected return. And I think the variance of this return is very, very low. It's very close to zero because we know everything for this restaurant. Return always the same. But for this grand opening restaurant, we don't know anything, okay? It could be very nice, but it could be very bad. So the variance of return will be very, very high. Okay? And let, let's imagine this usual place is, is slightly better than usual restaurant. Okay? So when you take the average over whole restaurant for the, re for the return, expected return. And then uh, compare the expected return, the usual place and the average return over whole restaurant. Then let, let, let's assume this expectation, the usual place expected return is higher than the, the total average reward over whole restaurant. Why I say this? Uh, since the expected return of a restaurant we never visit is, the, is equal to the uh, average return of whole restaurant, right? So in that case, if you consider just an expected return all the time to, when you uh, make some decision, you will choose this usual place all the time. You never visit brand opening or any brand new restaurant because new restaurant always has the expected reward that is equal to the expected reward of whole entire restaurant, right? So the expected return of brand new restaurant is uh, the expected return of entire restaurant. So if this is slightly better than uh, average restaurant quality, the very conservative people will choose this usual place all the time, forever. Okay? But, you know, there is always some chance this brand new restaurant is better than, or even much better than the usual place. Never know. Right? So, if um, uh, some people really enjoy some adventure, then maybe the people uh, will more wait on the variance. If some um, some action has having high variance, 
Of course, there is some chance the return is pretty bad, but there is some chance the return is very high. Okay, so when you weight a uh, variance more than the expectation, then uh, we have to choose this uh, brand new restaurant. Betting to the chance this re restaurant is very good. Okay, so this is very interesting problem. How can we balance the expectation and variance to decide the restaurant, to decide something? Okay, so in Merton Bandit algorithm, um, some part of Merton Bandit algorithm, they usually try to balance the expected return and the variance of return uh, to design some um, metric to decide uh, one action among many possible choices. We will uh, discuss such a thing throughout um, today's class. Another very important application for the multi band setting is sequential treatment. Okay, um, let's, let's imagine there is a doctor and a sequence of patient, and the doctor has, has to make a treatment process, a decide treatment process to each patient. Okay, Let, let's, let's imagine there are two types of treatment. One is cured by lead pills and one is by blue pills. So let's, let's, let's imagine this sequence. At the first time, uh, the doctor tried with the, the lead pill, but the outcome was uh, bad. Uh, the second trial, again, tried with uh, lead pill but the result was bad. Um, the third trial, um, so since we observed two bad outcomes with lead pill, ch change the action to uh, blue pill and observe very nice result. And then again, choose blue pill and observe very nice. Uh, but still there is some chance the first two outcome is just an unlucky case the lead pill indeed very good. There always some chance because we only observe uh, just two uh, cases. So revisit the blue uh, lead pill again for the fifth trial, but still observe the very bad, and so on. So using this observation, the doctor has to choose whether use uh, lead pill or blue pill. Okay, that is called sequential treatment scenario. Uh, one interesting here again is we can know the outcome of each pill when you use the treatment to a patient. Indeed, uh, the first patient outcome for the blue pill could be exists there, but we cannot observe this outcome unless we play with blue pills for the first patient. So the Merton band setting, the one key component of Merton band setting is we can observe the outcome only for the case um, we play the action. If we don't play, we don't know. We don't know anything. That is key component of Merton band setting. And another important um, concept is there are capital T patients, so there is some um, end time at capital T uh, with the same symptoms and um, some given treatment set for. Uh, so why this end time is very imp important? When, when capital T is very high, what is important is we have to uh, learn the expected return of blue pill and red pill very accurately because we have very huge amount of patient remaining, it is extremely important to understand every uh, uh, treatment uh, properties very accurately, right? Otherwise, for the remaining time, uh, we still um, do just a coin tossing. When we do the Every details of blue pill and lead pill, every detailed information, blue pill and lead pill, very accurately at a certain point, 
from this point, we can uh, use the best strategy all the time. So the expected return will be very high. But when we use um, some empirically best algorithm from the very early phase, there is always some chance the 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 other treatment was a really good treatment, and in that case, the um, our return will be bad compared to the best strategy. You know. For instance, if uh, red pill expected return is higher than blue pill, but uh, since uh, the outcome is just a um, random process, uh, when the outcome of red pill just are very bad because of some unlucky situation, then um, from this observation, when we stop the exploration, process at the very early stage, we will choose the blue pill and we play the blue, blue pill all the remaining time, which is very, very, uh, cause, which cause very, very huge um, um, loss compared to the lead pill treatment for the remaining time. Okay. So, so it is, it is very, very important how many times we have to play for the remaining um, actions so that uh, we can get more information for the rest of algorithm. That, that is key component when you design multi-band algorithm. 